While you're on, Mr Ashworth, I just want to get your thoughts, if you would, on what's happened outside at Liverpool Women's Hospital uh, yesterday morning. I mean, absolutely uh, uh, shocking that that would happen anywhere, but particularly outside a women's and maternity hospital. Obviously, we pay our respects and send our condolences to the family of the man who lost his life. I'll obviously want to thank the emergency services for the way in which they responded. We ought not to speculate at this stage about how it happened or the motivations and so on. Uh, we need to leave the emergency services and the appropriate services to carry out their investigations. But I imagine the Prime Minister, when he speaks in the Parliament later today, will touch upon this and uh, uh, we will all look forward to hearing what he has to say about how this very desperate, shocking uh, situation happened and how it will be properly investigated. And here we are, Liverpool, facing what has now been confirmed to be a terrorist incident. Well, this is desperately sad. But what I will say is that these terrorist incidents, and I, it's not for me to speculate on the motivations at this stage, but these terrorist incidents in the round are, are, are attempts to attack our democracy. But democracy, free speech, the rule of law, our personal liberties will never be destroyed by those who want to destroy it. And we will always stand firm against terrorism. Uh, 